I've been blessed to um, achieve and live the American dream. My parents immigrated to this country from Jamaica. And you know, um, when you compare um, mayors to Washington insiders, Americans see that um, mayors actually get the job done. The city of that was Wayne Messam in April telling my colleagues Anne-Marie Green and Vladimir Dutier why he decided to run for president. Messam is the mayor of Miramar, Florida. In the roughly six months since he declared his run, Messam has not met either the polling or fundraising qualifications for the Democratic debates at any point. And now, a new article from BuzzFeed News delves into this small city mayor's push for president. Documents and staffers depicted it as, quote, a no-hope campaign that nonetheless was embroiled in bitter disputes over money and control, a D-list version of The Sopranos. Ryan Brooks is a co-author of that piece. He's a politics reporter for BuzzFeed News, and he joins me now from New York. Thanks so much for joining us, Ryan. What makes Wayne Messam's campaign, as one of your sources called it, the most, quote, immoral, unethical thing I've ever seen in my 15 years of politics? So from the get-go, the campaign staffers that were talking to him since November of 2018 about the possibility of, like, launching his campaign, they haven't been paid for their work, is, is what they tell us. Um, we talked to eight staffers. We talked to subcontractors that provided data, that provided uh, graphics for the campaign website, everything else. Uh, they have not been paid for their work at all, um, and they've pretty much given up on getting that money from the campaign. Well, you specifically uh, mention a consulting firm, Dark Horse LLC, where some of Messam's advisors came from. What role does this company play in the story? Mm -hmm. So Dark Horse LLC is a firm that was pretty involved in Andrew Gillum's gubernatorial uh, bid when he first launched his campaign um, in that primary. And, and they moved away after that, um, in the weeks after that launch. And then they... They were involved in the Wayne Messam campaign from the get-go. They were talking to him, like I said, back in November of 2018 about the possibility of launching the campaign, and, and they worked with him through the launch of his uh, exploratory committee and then into March when he launched the actual campaign. Uh, pretty much all of their staff were senior advisors on the Messam campaign, and they're all gone now uh, because they weren't being paid for their work. Well, how does Messam's wife play into these allegations? Mm -hmm. So Angela Messam is obviously Wayne Messam's wife. She has she works with their businesses. They own a construction business, and and she uh, from the staffers plays a, a huge role in um, the finances of those businesses, and and eventually just sort of like wrested control away from the financial director of the campaign and to becoming like the sole controller of. Uh, the, the campaign's bank account and the campaign's finances and has responded to a lot of the emails like from subcontractors just basically saying that they had no authority to work for the campaign. What is Messam or, or, or Messam's campaign saying about these allegations? What's the response? Mm -hmm. So Messam's campaign, when we reached out to them for the story, they pretty much said that this came from Dark Horse and everyone that said that they owed them money uh, wasn't actually owed money because Dark Horse, according to the Messam campaign, had been operating like unauthorized, like in an unauthorized manner for the campaign and that they were just using the campaign to boost themselves. Um, they basically told us that, the, that Dark Horse LLC uh, was using was forging campaign letterhead to send out offers to the subcontractors that the Messums had spoken with, according to emails that we've seen. Wow. All right. Fi finally, as you pointed out on Twitter, your co-author on this piece is still in high school. How did the two of you go about reporting on this? Yeah, absolutely. So Dia Almani is a high schooler based in Maryland, and she pitched one of our politics editors. And I'd been hearing some stuff about the Messam campaign, too, um, along the lines of what she'd uh, been reporting on during her summer camp um, with The New York Times. And she brought the story to us, and we were happy to work with her to get her some journalism experience. And uh, it turned out really well. It is uh, quite the story. Ryan Brooks. Ryan, thank you very much. No problem. Absolutely.